Welcome back. It's a beautiful morning. I'm Dan. You're watching I Allegedly. And uh, the economy is so wonderful right now that even zoos are for sale right now. Okay? Unloading zoos. Please do not forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Comment on this video. And I think you're going to enjoy this one. Uh, but uh, also, we have a sponsor, Dr. Amy, and I will talk about her in a little bit. Now, first things first. Everything is so wonderful in the economy, and that's all we hear about. The state that gave me the most amount of grief in the last two years, and I went and looked at this, were people from one state. You don't understand, Dan. It's fantastic here. Everything's great here. That state, North Carolina. I don't know why, but they took it personally when I said things are getting bad. You need to protect yourself. You need to batten down the hatches, whatever. Well, there are two zoos, zoos with animals that are for sale that blew people away that these became on the market this week. Now, the first one is called Zootastic, Zootastic. And Zootastic is 186 acres. It is $16 million. And it's a full-fledged zoo with all these different revenue streams. Read the story below. All these different revenue streams and you can own the zoo. You can own your own zoo, okay? Crazy, wild animals. Now, whenever I attend the zoo and I film it for you guys, you lose your mind, but I love it. I mean, I love seeing panthers and I love seeing all these wild animals that you don't get to see on a regular basis. And uh, people, oh, they should be in their natural habitat. The panther, Dan, should be eating Bambi and we should see that, okay? Well, you don't get to always see that, okay? The next one is the Aloha Safari Park. Now this one's a little cheaper. It's only four and a half million bucks. But the thing about the Aloha Safari Park is it's only 86 acres, literally a hundred acres less than the other places, but it's an interactive experience. You know, where you go in there and the animals roam freer on that. And I'm like reading this and they're really pitching this. This is an, just a news story that's really pitching how, what a, what a great asset these things would be to buy right now. And I'm thinking, we should lean into this, okay? As the I allegedly family, we should raise the money. And I'm thinking we go with the big park, you know, outside of Charlotte, the 186 acres and the I allegedly team, we should buy it. The guy who runs the park, his name is Stumpy Joe. We can keep Stumpy Joe on and he can run the park because he loves to feed the animals like an imbecile. But Stumpy Joe will stay on and what we'll do is we'll let the animals out, okay? We'll let them go just run free. Okay, we'll fence the outside of the thing off. I think it'd be crazy, okay? And we'll rename the park the United States of America and just let every man, every woman, it just, you know, it'll just run free, okay? All these animals will just take over and, and uh, you know, survival of the fittest or the unfittest. But going to the zoo has always been a great experience. I defy anybody to go see penguins and not go, oh, penguins are cool. Look at the penguins, okay? And there's also cold penguins and freshwater penguins too, saltwater penguins, okay? But uh, anyways, let's go buy a zoo together. So, but remember, everything is great. Everything is good. I'm joking about that, but I did meet Stumpy Joe, okay? <laughs> okay? Anyways, things are not good right now, guys. That's the gist of all this, okay? And the gist of all this is that you need to save as much money as you can right now. As much as you can. Batten down the hatches on your business. Don't buy anything expensive. Lots of stuff that you want to get are going to go on sale right now. Lots of construction down here. I'm on the canals. It's kind of fun. It's kind of quiet this morning. The next thing is uh, Stephen and Mary Drummond. Lived in Arizona. They, unfortunately, had a business go down and had to file bankruptcy a few years ago. Now, with their bankruptcy, look at this guy. Hey, buddy, how are you? Oh, you look happy. So, they had to file bankruptcy. Now, here's the crazy part about this. When someone files bankruptcy, they usually have a homestead exemption, meaning that certain equity amounts in your house make it so they can't liquidate your home because the idea with this is we're not supposed to go to debtor's prison. You're supposed to liquidate, get rid of the assets that could be sold to pay off potential creditors and move on. 
but the Drummonds got down to a motorhome, and that's it, and that's it. So for those of you that think I'm just gonna file bankruptcy and drive off into the sunset, the Drummonds thought that too. No, mm -mm. What the What was determined by the bankruptcy court and by the trustee was, wait a second, this is not exempt. You don't get the homestead exemption for a motorhome. It's not your house. Well, yeah, it's our house. It's where we live, and it is where they live. Nope. Look at this ruling, okay? Very simple ruling. They just determined that these poor people are not exempt. So they've got to turn the car in, turn the motorhome in, liquidate it, sell it. So they will be homeless. They will have nothing. So bravo. So this is not bad yet. It is going to get worse before it gets better. I have friends and people that insist that they have to buy homes right now. And I am telling you, if you knew the bankruptcy people that I know, if you knew the uh, foreclosure people, if you knew all these people right now that are gearing up, whether it's repossessions, whether it's foreclosures, whether it's asset liquidators, people that buy things, they, okay, we'll take your boat and we'll unload your boat and get you, you know, 60 cents in the dollar. You're going to see stuff be sold and be given away for free right now. Gold right now is shooting up through the roof, okay? Saw it hit another all-time high today, and you're going to see that happen over and over and over again, okay? So get ready for that, guys. But correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know if you think that uh, this is going to be good in the economy right now because it's the last thing that I think. And a zoo going on sale. Think about that. Okay, let me know. Let's talk about our sponsor, Dr. Amy. You know, in a world where we have more medical breakthroughs than ever, one thing you have to look at is why are so many people in the United States unhealthy and overweight? If you look at board certified, and nutritionist, Dr. Amy, she says it comes down to basically three foods that people eat that they shouldn't be eating. These are what people think are health foods, but they're really not. If you go to threeharmfulfoods.com, the number three harmfulfoods.com forward slash Dan, you can see a video that she put together and it'll explain all this to you. But think about this, weight gain, bloating, joint pain, sluggishness, everybody attributes this to, uh, getting older and it has nothing to do with that. You can fix this and even correct it in the future if you get rid of these three things out of your diet. Take a look at threeharmfulfoods.com forward slash Dan today and see what Dr. Amy put together. But the easiest way to get there is use the link below. Change your diet, change your health, change your mindset with this. Check out Dr. Amy today. I love walking in these canals. It's just such a nice area. It really is. Love to have a house down here. But there's two stories that are kind of related, but they're not. First one is out of New York City. Wealthy property owners are giving up the cool townhouses for homes with doormen, okay? Because the doormen will at least keep the riffraff off the front porch. Goodbye go away. People are coming home to their five, eight, $12 million properties. Read the story below and having people sleep there, which is just great. I know a woman that lived in the Venice beach area and ended up moving to Newport coast behind the gates. And she, in fact, she, in fact, she ran my women in med tech talk every conference for, I think almost four years. Okay. She was great. But she and her husband were so sick of crime in Venice. This place reminds me of Venice because they had the canals, but they had the homeless people sleeping in front of her house. And when she wanted to sell her house for $3 million, she ended up having to bribe the homeless people every day so they would go away. And finally, she had to get up and, you know, whenever they would have a showing or they would have an open house, 
the, the homeless people would get smart and they'd be like, they'd look at the paper, they'd look online and see that it, this was gonna happen and they would show up there for money. Hey, I'll, we'll keep everybody away. And they'd literally keep them a block away after it would cost her hundreds of dollars to get rid of the riffraff. So, <clears throat> the next thing is <laughs> out of Philadelphia. Tell me if this sounds suspicious or not. There was a cargo truck this week that the driver was caught sleeping and $16,000 worth of bacon, pork gone. So somebody came home for the bacon, okay? Bring home the bacon. And the driver was asleep and the truck was broken into and everything was stolen. Isn't that terrible? Isn't that like out of Goodfellas, okay? Now, um, in March, the same thing had happened, only a few miles away, this was on Charter Street, the March story happened a few miles away where they got rum and beef this time. And guess what? You're not going to believe this. The driver was asleep there too. Isn't that amazing? So call Tony Soprano, you know, I'm sure he wants his cut. But remember, we've seen this in the movies, guys, in, in Goodfellas. And <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? It's like the driver was not suspected of anything. And the, the driver wasn't beat up. No problems in both cases. Isn't that amazing? What a shock. Okay, so was it, let's see this guy come by. So, was it an inside job? Who knows, okay? But uh, I love stuff like this. Share your thoughts, let me know. Do you think it's suspicious? Because I sure do, okay? Now they need eggs and they can make bacon, eggs, and beef and stuff like that, okay? Now, one thing that's really surprising right now is central banks are buying gold heavily around the globe, okay? This is basically the top of the market. Why are they continuing to buy gold? Are they hedging themselves? Are they making it so that they're gonna be protective if there's a real downturn with the dollar? Or do they know something? Is it gonna go much, much higher? Now, <clears throat> Goldman Sachs steps forward and says, Gold is going to hit $2,700 an ounce in the near future, in the coming months. Bank of America says it's going to hit $3,000 in the coming months. But the, the big prediction right now, and these stories are below and you can read them, is UBS. UBS sits down and says that we're going to see gold hit $4,000 an ounce. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now... You know, when O.J. Simpson died, one thing that people speculated, wrote me about, was, well, to the family, will they finally get their money? You know, one thing that's crazy is O.J. Simpson basically skated on paying the Goldmans their $33 million. In fact, the Goldmans only got $133,000 paid back towards that judgment, which is a travesty. And I know that it was a principal type of thing, but O.J. set up many cash businesses after he got out of prison in 2017 and basically had his pension, which they couldn't touch because it was paid into Florida. And Florida had this exemption that uh, certain pensions were untouchable by uh, uh, litigation and by bankruptcy and things like that. So he was entitled to his $25,000 a year, a month, 25 grand a month, $300,000 a year pension from the NFL. Here's the crazy thing about that. When he was in jail, that money just Went into a bank account. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Paid some lawyers. They got a chunk. But he earned a tremendous amount of money and a tremendous amount of interest during that time when he was locked up for that nine years or whatever that worked out to be. So there's not going to be some rich payday for these people. There's, there's no justice for these poor people, you know, when, this, when everything is said and done. But, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see what other assets he had. His Heisman Trophy was liquidated. He abandoned a book that he wrote called If I Did It, which was disgusting because it was like, let me explain to you what would have happened if I, in fact, did the crime. You know, it was just preposterous and, and sickening. But, uh, you know, these people seem like they always win. You know what I mean? So, you know, he's not winning where he's at. But do you know what I mean? It's, it's terrible that these people did not get 
any real justice in this matter. Not that they would have rather had their loved ones there around than anything, but it's just trav a total travesty. I'm gonna finish this video with these last few stories. And first things first, St. Louis. St. Louis wants to be number one and not in a good way. They wanna be number one in crime. They wanna be number one in businesses closing, vacant buildings. But just to add to that, they've got a crime problem. They've got a business district that is completely closing and it's a mess. But the AT&T building, 44 story building, 44 stories, just sold for a whopping three and a half million dollars. I am not kidding, guys, the story is below, but the city is a complete mess right now with crime and with everything going wrong and with everybody leaving, okay? There's that. <sighs> Roku, okay, got hacked earlier this year for about 15,000 of its clients and your data was stolen. And again, get your VPN, okay, that you guys don't wanna have. But uh, Roku got nailed. And guess what happened this week? They got hit with 574,000 more accounts, had their data stolen. And you know, it's funny, I have a Roku account. And we, you know, we should just start suing these companies individually every time you get your data stolen. But they got your name, they got your email, your address. Thank God I didn't put a credit card in that because I would have had that. So, you know what I mean? Look at this stuff, guys. Look at these old Roku accounts. Look at these old accounts. Change your passwords. Do this stuff. Get a VPN. Okay? Final, final story. There is a new airline that's opening called Bark Airways. It's designed to let your pooch fly in style. Okay? You can fly your dog first class for $16,000. Give it the white glove treatment. Okay? Have you ever, just let me know. Yes, I've spent $16,000 on a ticket. Have you ever spent $16,000 on an airline ticket? Maybe a vacation, maybe you traveled the world, you went on a, some lavish cruise or you did something crazy. But would you spend 16 grand on your pet, okay? Again, a completely different level of wealth, crazy space money, Bezos and us peasants down here, okay? So, love the canals. Please do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. You want to email me, it's hello at iallegedly.com. And uh, onward and upward, guys. But uh, please let me know what you guys want to see. We've got a bunch of cool stuff happening. Onward and upward, I'll see you soon.